Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Like what now? What was that last time? On the trackpad in, in Leopard, you can do all these multi-touch gestures. Like you can swipe, and you can um, actually take two fingers and turn. It'll rotate a picture. Do all these cool little things that you'll do with photos and stuff like you like doing that Vista probably won't let you do. Hmm. Um, well, so far, I don't use any of those things that you have talked about, like the PS3 and all that stuff. I don't do any of that. Firefox, I don't use. I'm just going to use the CS3. You're talking about Photoshop. Oh, I don't really yeah. use Photoshop. And Chris says I can't put my photos on here because it'll take up too much space. What hard drive size do you have? Well, it's uh, the MacBook Air, and she's partitioned it pretty much in half, and it starts at about 80 gigs. So I'm not oh, going to be doing that's anything. That's why I didn't want a MacBook Air. It's too small. Well, but... Well, I want it for just specific thing, and the specific thing that I want it for is light travel. Okay, well then, Ponzi, you know that with Vista on that processor speed, it's going to be really slow. This is compared to, like, let's say, Chris Jeff Pop, if you used his, or if you had Vista on your MacBook before, you know, it was really fast. And c compared to that, it's going to be like walking on a treadmill not working, if you but think about if it. But if I don't like this, I can take it off, right? Right. Yeah, so... Select the boot camp partition. Yes. You can take it off, yeah, but then now you also have the remnant the of it, piece. and for some reason, when I actually used yeah. my grandmother's Mac, Why not? Install boot camp, did that all, and okay, we uninstalled it because she didn't like Windows. She that. wanted to try it, didn't suck. like it. Okay, Rathamac, Ponzi's now experiencing. Okay, Rathamac, I will say that this part all sucks if Chris wasn't sitting here and saying, This is what you do, and this is what you do, and then you go here and you do that. I would have no idea what I'm doing. Chris, okay. Well, this is where Chris should say, I'm not helping you. No, I... Oh, come on! I, I'm, no, here, Rathamac, really, you know, you, I'll, I'll let you... so not cool! I'll let you list your reasons again why, number one, why you're telling Ponzi she shouldn't be using Windows, she should be with a Mac, especially with a Mac Air, or MacBook Air. But, uh -huh. you know, I need Ponzi to experience Vista just so she can experience it. Just so she oh, can really? know... So she can see how it works on the Right, so see how it looks, see how it works. I've just never works, seen it. Yeah. Right. Well, here's the... What she just pointed out is... So she can see how lousy it is. Right, in comparison to something like OS X. I'm going to let her see it. So I'm not going to deny her that experience at all. Uh, yeah, let her need, dig her own grave. You basically. need to press <laughs> next there, baby. You need Thanks. To press next. Yeah. And, that, yeah what you, and what Ponzi just mentions is she, she just stepped through the setup, which happens every time you launch uh, any kind of... Mac for the first time, or open it up, boot it up. Very seamless, very elegant. The first right, thing you're going to be cool prompted for... and all that, but with Vista, you get this blue screen. Well, with Vista, well, no, no I will say here. that with Vista, the first thing they did was make me feel stupid. Like, I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. And with Mac, they automatically, with the software, prompted me and helped me all along the way. Which is the same reason why... got your attention by talking to you. Which is the same reason why I liked the iPhone. It was really easy to set up and move through and... Yeah. But I want to try it, though. I really do want to try it. And just for clarification, this is not the solid-state disk. That's certainly not worth the money. The reason why this is a MacBook Air is Ponzi is looking at a lot of subcompacts, including the triple E PC from Asus. But the keyboard was nowhere near... This size. This size. It was really crunched together. So was the bio. It, well, the bio, and not only that, but if I really wanted to, you know, bring another machine into the la uh, house, I just as soon have it running OS X, then, uh, you know, well, Windows. So yeah. Says this so this if I had a choice, Ponzi, I would go with Mac for overall stability, performance, and what were um, your, security. Um, what were your reasons initially, Wrath of Mac? What did you say at the beginning of your call? Um, to not go with Vista? Yeah. What were the reasons why? Compatibility, stability, security, um, overall driver issues, because with that MacBook Air, all these new drivers and stuff, you'll have issues with that. Trackpad gestures, you know, the fun little turning pictures and stuff. Um, like the dashboard specialty keys up there will not function. Um, the eyesight you'll probably have some issues with since it's enough next generation eyesight. Is it? And I don't know it was next gen. Especially with Vista one USB port, that's not really good for Vista even. So what's not good well, for Vista? I have to try it. Oh, what say, Chris? I said, what'd you think was not good for Vista? And you don't you're not on a Mac though, Rathamac. 
Well, I know, but I'm on a Mac during the summer. I'm on my grandmother's MacBook, and I love it, and I wish I could take it with me, you know, and, and give her my PC. I give up my monitors, my monitors, my hard drives, my keyboard mouse, everything for that MacBook. Why do you love it that much? Um, yeah, I hate Windows. I'm running Windows right now. Um, I've had a blue screen today in XP even. Didn't quite like that. You know, and I've never had a kernel panic, anything in Mac, and I would be doing tons of things. Yes, Chris, shut the lid. No, I'm not going to shut the lid. I was just trying to dim it. Oh, Windows won't let me dim it because the su it's not Mac. I can't. I gotta wait. Yeah, because Windows isn't meant for Mac. But the fact that you can have it, and that's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, it's better than dare I say Linux. You can access your Windows files from here too. Yeah, if you think I'm afraid of Mac stuff, I'm really afraid of Linux stuff. That's what kind of completely, you know. I tried them for two and I couldn't. No, forget about Linux. I mean, the triple EPC, that was the reason why it got. Well, you could put XP on it, but. But you said it doesn't have any space. It's it's not. There's. You know, for a $400, $500 PC, sometimes you get what you pay for. And in terms of your use case, this is the best option out there. I I just know that. As someone who knows Ponzi intimately, and deals with this stuff with her at home, this is her best option. Seriously, well, it's her best option. For somebody who likes light, of course, this is probably the lightest thing you can get with that full-size keyboard. Exactly. You know? And that's a huge big deal to me. Plus, I don't have to buy a special bag for it because it's not huge or heavy or wide. I can fit you this could, in you, If you had a big enough coat pocket inside, you could stick it in there. <laughs> I gotta admit, it's, I mean... It's very it's, light. For me... As I'm going to go on record, again, I haven't backed down. For me, it's stupid. I could not use this thing. I just couldn't. It just would not work for me. On a, as a regular yeah, computer, I, I, I need power. It. I would, I'll take extra poundage for the power every single yeah. time. It's the reason I, I got a 70 inch. I carry a MacBook Pro than a MacBook Air. That's just me. But it's so heavy. When I was going through the airport but and I had to be. carry all of my crap and I had to... Pull the suitcase, and I'm serious. Another 10 pounds is not what I need. And when I went down the aisle with that MacBook Pro, the bag was so big that you can't even, like, push it behind you and go through the... It was just big. It was just big and bulky and in the way. And, no, I would like it to be clean and thin and be able to change different bags. That MacBook Pro only fits in one bag, and it was $100 bag that I had to buy for that, and I don't like it. And why'd you buy the bag? I bought the bag so that I could fit all my stuff in it because you can only have two carry-ons. And then we were going to Europe and we had to drive that stupid suitcase so I needed one bag so I could consolidate everything in it. But that 17-inch will only fit in certain bags. It's huge. So, well, that's yes. That's why you don't get a 17-inch. You get a 15-inch because, one, the LED displays, and two, they're lighter. That's an LED display. Oh, okay. The MacBook Air is an LED display. Well, we yeah, got that one for really Nomdex, so I kind of had no choice. I mean, I just got it because I just got to use it. Well, the 15 inch because you wanted something smaller. Yes. I would have gone with the second 17 inch. Oh, God. Which you wouldn't have dealt with very well at all. No. All right, Wrath of Mac, well, good luck trying to convince yes. Ponzi. Thanks for the info, though. Yeah. I will keep it in mind well, definitely. The Mac Pro's arriving Monday? Yes, the Mac Pro unboxing will happen on Monday. The installation of 16 gigs of RAM will happen at the same time, and I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to try to put together the uh, eSATA connectors, because that's going to take a little bit more work. Hmm. Just make sure you do it after 2 p.m. your time. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, because I don't think it'll oh, be here by he then. Doesn't, yeah, he doesn't do anything early. <laughs> All right. That day I'm getting up at 8. I'm going to be calling the mailbox every what? minute. Is it here? Is it there yet? Is it there yet? Is it there yet? Is it there yet?